Asante sana. Kwa niaba ya marafiki nitauliza mzee James Mathenge. Ajongee mbele kwa dakika moja. Kisha kwa niaba ya kamati ya wazee the chairman of the council of elders mzee Matundura. Vile vile aje mbele tafadhali. Mzee James Mathenge dakika mbili kwa kifupi tu kisha mwenyekiti wa kamati ya wazee mzee Matundura. Karibu sana. I salute the President of the Republic of Kenya, President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, and his deputy, Ruto, the former dep dep deputy, President Raira Ondinga, cabinet ministers, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with my two minutes, I can only take a flight on life of this uh, honorable, this great Kenyan. And that is what I want to do. Um, I knew him, first of all, as just somebody working in the civil service, and we are in provincial administration together, and working in different provinces. And uh, when he was brought to uh, Nakuru as a PC, I was posted to him in 1966, Your Excellency, by your father, to assist him to, because of uh, that was a large, it was the largest province. And uh, if, I think your father thought that he had the muscle and the strength to manage such a province, bordering Ethiopia, Sudan, Uganda, Tanzania. And all the provinces except you know, the Northeastern province. It was a gigantic province. And that's where, where he became a working mate. They started working together. Soon that in, developed to friendship. And we ended up by being uh, brothers. And that's the position I stand here. I'm very conscious we don't have time to talk about the uh, Hunyachai because uh, the, the life history has said it and we have time constrained, uh, very shy to continue from there. One quick one is I knew him very clearly as a family person, how he came out and you have seen for yourself. I don't need to add to that. A family person and he gave his family quality time, not left to come. He gave it that. So this acquaintance who becomes a friend, he also became a, a, men a, men a, men a men mentor. He mentored those he worked with him, and they are here today, many of them. If they stood there, they will, speak, they will repeat that story. He did that job with the distinction. When he made friends, he kept them because he trained them. He therefore kept them. He did not throw his friends about. And from there, of course, we know Nyachai also. That is the civil service. That is the family. And then we know him as a politician. At least if I remember one great thing about Nyachai is when he told the nation, I'm now changing a career from civil servant to politics. I know what I'm going to find, I'm really aware. Anybody in the professional administration knows what to find in a politics. Um, one thing I will not be trained with is lies. And he lived up to that. A work that I'll call the truth, the truth. Two is two and three is three. And it cannot be called by other name. And he also lived up to that. So as we mourn Nyachai, as we mourn him, and that's what we have come here to do, as we celebrate the life, that's why we are saying some of the good things he did. I think we should do that with confidence that uh, we lost a good Kenyan, a good husband, a good father, a good grandfather. 
May God rest him in eternal peace. And may God also keep the family. Charles, you have been commissioned by the church on first and today we had you being commissioned that you must face the shoes of Simon Nyachai in leadership of the family. Thank you very much. God bless you.